So uh, talk, let's talk about some tips, tricks, hacks for uh, real-time audio processing on Android. <laughs> yeah, um, um, I, I can share a few tricks, um, just like written in the slide. Uh, I, I will not go into the details how to create a super high-performance handcrafted assembly code. Um, so, uh, yeah, so don't use any buffering. Uh, process, audio comes in, you process it immediately without any buffering, and audio goes out. So this way, you have no latency, or you don't add any uh, additional latency. Um, and also, please keep memory transfers uh, minimum, at minimum. Why? because the memory bus is really a constrained resource on, on mobile devices. Um, and this way you actually uh, bump up your graphical uh, frame rate too, because uh, the graphic system uses the most memory uh, transfers. Uh, it's not about using memory or having large amounts of data in memory, no. it's the number of memory transfers. That's the thing which matters. And also, a, a, a connected theme is format conversions. Please keep that, keep those at minimum. And finally, um, don't use mutexes or any other blocking code at all because real-time audio must finish in a fixed amount of time and blocking and, uh, uh, to a uh, indeterminate time is not a good idea great and and one thing we have planned it's on our on our uh, editorial calendar for our blog is actually a, a, a longer blog post that talks about um, some of uh, actually Google's recommendations for uh, low latency um, Android audio processing um, we should hope we should have that hopefully uh, uh, out in sometime in September <laughs> Thank you.